Welcome back guys, thanks for joining me for another beer review. Let me just adjust this light. Let me just, that's it, turn it down a little bit. Uh, get there, stay. Uh, hope you're all well, hope you all had a good weekend. Uh, we are looking at another supermarket beer now and it's one that I picked up from Sainsbury's the other week. Uh, and I think they're new to the supermarkets, this brewery. Uh, they're from Birmingham, or Sturchley to be precise. Uh, which is about an hour from me. And uh, we are looking at a beer from Attic Brew Co. And this is a can of their Signals IPA coming in at 5.6%. It's in a 440 ml can and this cost me three pound. Like I said, from Sainsbury's. And again, like I said, I'm certain they're very new to Sainsbury's. So uh, <clears throat> we'll have to see what it's like. I think I have had a beer from them uh, me and the wife went to Birmingham. We went to, I oh, can't think of the, Digbeth, Digbeth. Went to Birmingham, popped into the area, Digbeth. Uh, <clears throat> and there was bars there with uh, their beers on tap. I'm certain it was. And I think I did try an Attic Bruco beer. It was solid enough, but this is supermarket stuff. So we will see what we get. I do like the artwork. It's a little bit pink, but I do like the artwork. It catches your eye as you would expect it to. Now, I don't have an Attic Brew Co glass, so we are gonna go with the old favorite White Hag Brewing Co. So we are gonna chuck it in there, or pour it in there if you like. So let's get it cracked open and see what we get. And there may well be another beer review after this. It's about 20 to 10 on Easter Sunday. I've had a few to be fair already. Been around the in-laws. Uh, we've gone for a keg of Hasaroda. I've done a beer review before then. I also had a left afterwards. So there's this cup. There's this one I'm doing as well. And I may be tempted to do another beer review. But we'll see how it all goes. So beer in a glass. Look at that. That is looking like lemon squash, if you like, or an extremely weak orange squash. Uh, I'm not seeing much carbonation going up. It's hazy, it's lemon, and there is literally a fuck all head. Let's not be, you know, let's not beat around the bush. You can see there, there's nothing there, is there on the head? There's nothing left in the can. We've got a little bit, that bit more murkiness just dropped in there. But if we're brutally honest, it's not looking particularly inspiring, is it? Let's be honest. So we'll dive in with the nose, see what we get, and then we'll go in for a taste. As, no, fucking hell. We spill the beer, don't I? Once Baz has had a couple, he's spilling the beer here, there, and everywhere. Anyway, diving on the nose. Hoppy. Sweet pineapple, sweet grapefruit, that passion fruit kind of thing in there. But it smells, on the nose, it smells like a typical supermarket IPA uh, that doesn't blow your mind. But it also doesn't smell like the worst supermarket IPA I've had. So stop sniffing. Dive in, Attic Brew Co's, uh, what's it called again? What's it called again? Signals IPA 5.6%. Cheers. Have a look at this can. So let's see if I can see any date on this. Not seeing much on there from the date. Doing again. For me, very light, very thin, uh, not watery. Uh, 
very carbonated, although there's not a lot of bu bubbles going up in this glass. It's got a fierce carbonation in there, which means the mouthfeel is quite rough. It's a bit ragged around the edges. It's not the smoothest of beers. You really feel that carbonation. Now I've criticized some beers for being carbonated, but this carbonation is quite fierce. And like I say, with the body being sort of light, you really feel it and it's not, it's not smooth at all. On the taste, on the taste, it's pineapple, hops, slightly sweet, a little bit bitter, it's tropical, there's grapefruit, and it's funny because I can describe a lot of IPAs like this, but there's something with this one that it just screams, it screams typical supermarket IPA, and not in a good way, not in a good way for me. 5.6%. Uh, I actually think for a 5.6% beer, like I said, I'm trying to find the fucking, the best before date on this. I don't know, have I got something that's at, 6th of September, 6th of September this year. I did wonder whether it had maybe gone past its best and there were certain things with this, but, <laughs> Pardon me. This is screaming typical supermarket beer. We're going to put it in there for three quid. It's going to be absolutely run of the mill, absolutely box standard. And quite frankly, I don't even want to call it shit. I really don't want to call it shit, but that, well, quite frankly, that is a, that's not a good IPA. That is a shit IPA. So for me, Attic Brucos Signals IPA, 5.6%. They're out of Sturchley, Birmingham. Would I recommend it? Save you three quid. I'm not being funny. For me, seriously, Brewdog Punk IPA is a much better beer. Well, it's a, it's no worse than that. And let's face it, Brewdog's Punk IPA nowadays is quite frankly a, a, a very standard, boring beer. Attic Brew Co. Signals IPA. Charging more for a bigger can, but for me, disappointing. So uh, if you've had it before, let me know what you think. Would I recommend it? No, leave the fucker on the shelf. There's plenty more better beers on the shelf than that. Uh, feel free to like, share the video, comment. Uh, that's it for this one. And do you know what? I've had a couple of beers, but I'm disappointed with that. So I'm going to do another beer review after this. So uh, keep an eye out for that one. Thank you all for watching. And I'll see you again soon on another one. Cheers.